Hello Taurus, welcome to your Shadow Twin Flame reading. This is a shadow reading, okay? So we're going to take a look at shadow or difficulty, challenge that you're having with your Twin Flame. Alright, so this is specifically to look at challenges, not a general reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to be pulling several cards from several decks to see what kind of energies, what kind of uh, emotions are... Um, Events you might be dealing with. What is at the heart of this challenge? So this is for you, Taurus. Let's get ready to pull out your first four cards to see where you and your twin flame are at. All right. We'll be pulling out four cards for Taurus. Seeing where this challenge is at for you. And your person. It's only a seven day reading for Taurus. And it's not necessarily indicative of long term. Show me, person, what's going on with this challenge? All right. Straight out. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Queen of Wands. All right. So, addiction, right? Addiction. The devil can speak to, uh, when we look at a, a, the shadow side of, of, of these cards, right? <clears throat> when we do this type of reading, we're looking at the shadow side of a lot of these energies. The devil is here. The devil can in indicate, like, too much sex, right? Too much sex, too much drugging, too much partying. There's an excess. There seems to be, like... Uh, Addictive behavior or perhaps um, uh, risky behavior here, right? Um, too much temptation. Queen of Wands has been through a lot. Uh, Queen of Wands, Taurus is so... I, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, Queen of Wands energy can generally can feel like being the survivor. It may be uh, one of the ways of surviving is sort of to play with the devil a little bit. And then we also have... Page of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles energy. So there is a feeling of work getting involved here, right? Work, the ability to go to work, the ability to get work done, the day-to-day -day tasks, right? Um, something is going on here with that devil energy. It could be that the this addiction, this addictive or sort of, I want to say risky, dangerous, playing with fire energy of the devil, uh, maybe indeed why there is challenge here. We're going to go deeper, though. Let's get right into your Twin Flame Journey cards for Taurus. We're going to go, because Taurus, you resonate with Pentacles energy. So I'm going to say that somewhere along the line, your ability to work is being hampered, and it's affecting this relationship, right? Um, getting sidetracked, right? Uh what is going on here? What is going on here with this connection? And somehow this is affecting this connection, right? So it could be that your person is the one who's playing with this devil energy and you're kind of having to sort of stay strong. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to get four more cards out of the Twin Flame Shadow, Shadow Oracle. And four more cards for my Taurus. And their person. Let's see what kind of deeper shadow energies are going on here. So, shocking. Uncomfortable. Lust. There's your lust. And irresponsible. So this is it. Right? Um... There's an irresponsibility happening here, and it could be a lusting. So, Taurus, what's going on here? That devil energy could very well be that uh, somebody's oversexed or they're getting involved with, again, like I said, playing with the devil, and they're being irresponsible, and it's affecting this relationship, right? It's absolutely affecting this relationship, okay? Uh, it's allowing the relationship to really succumb. A shocking and uncomfortable. So there's some uncomfortable... Activities happening, right? It could be that you're dealing with somebody's Taurus that their behavior is beginning to shock you, 
right? That devil energy behavior is beginning to shock you. You can't believe that this is like what they're getting into. It could be that you're finding out you're with somebody who is an addict and you didn't know they were an addict, right? Um, and it's all a lot. It's a lot. And again, Queen of Wands speaks to having gone through the fire. So again, it could very well be that you're finding out that this person, maybe, for instance, maybe they've been fired and you didn't know it. Or maybe they have addictive behaviors and you didn't know it. You're finding out about that now. Or you're finding out that they're being irresponsible in other ways with their life. And it's so like it's letting you down so much. It's absolutely hampering your ability to stay stable, I want to say. Um, to keep going, to do everyday tasks. You may find yourself suddenly have, having to come to their rescue. They may be calling you up. Uh, you know, you're trying to get on with things, right? With that page of pentacles. You're trying to get on with your day-to-day -day responsibilities. You're having to be stopped because you're having to deal with them. And again, um, and for some of you, yeah, shocking is coming in because, of course, you may not know it. You may just, over this next seven days, become aware of what is really happening here. Again, it makes me feel like suddenly realizing that the person you're dealing with has a secret addiction, maybe eat to drugs or to something, that you haven't known about, whether they're a gambler, they may even be a sex addict. There's a lot of lust here. You may be dealing with somebody who's actually a sex addict, right? Um, or something like that, or they're addict to something that, um, again, it's shocking. Whatever it is, it's shocking. And yes, there's a lust quality here. Show me the energies of shadows of darkness and light. Spirits of darkness and light, divination, death. We have mirror spirit, reflecting, deflecting, vanity, spirit of the jester, so a trickster, a hustler, and spirit of the scales, karma, justice, and balance coming in. You may be finding, Taurus, you may be with somebody, and you're finding out this next seven-day period, period that they are indeed a hustler. They may be an addict. Um, you may be finding out that they've have, they have th they have theft in their history, right? The spirit of gesture is strong here. Reflection, vanity, deflection. There's also a feeling of sort of like mirror spirit. You know, it's all about sort of putting on airs, right? So they may have been putting on airs. They may have been like sort of acting as though they have their shit together. And here you're going to be finding out that in fact they don't. In fact, they don't at all have it together. And it's going, it's shocking, it's uncomfortable what you're finding out about them. And it's definitely going to impact your money because we have thief, thieving energy here. We have trickster energy here, right? Treachery at play here. Um, but spirit of the scales come in. So there's a, there's a light, the spirit of lightness uh, coming in for this connection, Taurus. So uh, at the same time... There is going to be a balancing and a justice and a karma coming in. And I think very much that karma is you finding out about all of this, right? Uh, this is, it feels to me like this person works in the shadows or not necessarily in the shadows, but they're very good at lying. And you're going to be finding out what they've been lying about, right? And as soon as you find that out, the spirit of scales comes in. Show me what's going on for Taurus in this connection. It's a disappointment for sure. Show me. And this shocking and uncomfortable energy here is very strong. It's going to be interesting to see what you find out about them. The magician. Wow. Six of swords, nine of cups, and the hangman. And this is what comes in. So hangman energy is letting you know you're dealing with somebody who is very, very used to kind of... Um, Doing the same thing over and over, right? They're used to the same sort of tactics. Uh, they've done this before. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can move these up so you can see all these cards. They've done this before. This is their MO, right? Um, and yet the magician comes in in a sense that I'm going to say it could be, it feels to me like you're dealing with somebody who also very often portrays themselves as having it very much together, magician energy. But in fact, you know, Hangman is coming in also to remind you, this this is somebody who's kind of used to, oh my God, relying on a certain way of behaving and not really putting that extra effort in. Remember, we're looking at the shadow side of these cards. The Six of Swords comes in and Nine of uh, Pentacles, Gain and Science. It's going to let you know, Taurus, that for you, uh, making a choice to be clear 
and uh, to communicate honestly and to show that what you want is transparency, honesty. You want things to make sense and you're not going to really tolerate anything less than that, right? Mercury in Aquarius energy is six of swords. You're going to be making a very conscientious decision once all of this comes out, whether or not you want to continue on with strife and tri trickery and uh, perhaps uh, someone who is unwilling to change, who has these demons, right? Um, are you willing to deal with that or not? Six of Swords is a very conscientious energy to move towards a more harmonious place, okay? But by do, but the way they you do this is by being absolutely honest and clear in the way that you communicate and to almost be methodical and logical, to take the emotion out of it in a lot of ways. Nine of uh, Pentacles, gain, right? So there are people here who are gaining from this. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, it can indicate, you know, a group effort sometimes as well. Yes, it is gain in the traditional sense that you are getting rewards back um, for all of the hard work that you've put in. But in this deck, the Thoth deck, Nine of Pentacles goes a little bit deeper and it reminds us that gain is, is, is accomplished. Rewards come in generally because of integrating all parts of yourself and applying it, but also the, the combination of a group, the combination of working together, of working in partnership, um, that is an aspect that's often left out of traditional, uh, the traditional sort of uh, explanation of the Nine of Pentacles. But in this deck, it's, it's, more, um, it's much more sort of uh, emphasized, right? Uh, we have Venus and Scorpio energy is Nine of Pentacles. Uh, so, oh, excuse me, Venus and Virgo energy. Uh, so with Venus in Virgo, um, you know, there is a love for working outside of yourself and working with others and getting a reward back. Now, in this case, with the shadow read here, it feels to me like there are others here that are gaining from this. So watch out for that. At the same time, there are also others around that will help you sort of come out of this, right? Or, or handle this and move towards that, that balance that you want here with the six of swords again it's nine hang man remember you know um you may be dealing again you're dealing with somebody who's this is very much their mo this is what they rely on they don't really move away from their sort of um from the way they behave right this is this 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 uh this shocking sort of behavior that's coming out this sort of risky behavior right uh for those of you who are dealing with an addict, this addiction that's coming out, they've been addicts for quite some time, and they probably have lied to several people about their addiction. And so, again, this is all going to be a big choice for you about how are you going to move forward. Six of Swords is going to be very important with that, uh, certainly in terms of applying all of your mental faculties to really making the best logical decision. You know, sometimes moving towards harmony means not relying on your heart, but relying on your mind to make the best decisions, the right decisions. And those decisions, although they're difficult to make, if you make them in a spirit of, uh, of, of clarity, it's going to take you towards places or move you along the road where there is more harmony, right? Where the waters aren't so rough. Um, again, I'm going to leave it at that. All right, Taurus, this is an interesting read. You're going to be finding out some shocking stuff about your twin flame. It's going to be really like, wow, you know, this is what I've been working on or this is what I've been dealing with, right? It's going to be up to you to decide. Remember, there's a huge impact, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, on your day-to-day -day affairs with this individual. And um, Queen of Wands is there to remind you that, again, you know, this may just be going through the fire for you and dealing with this type of person. But be clear-headed, Six of Swords, if you want to move towards harmony. All right? All right, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. This is your Shadow Twin Flame reading for the next seven days for Taurus. If you got some clarity out of it, please like, subscribe, and share. All of that good stuff really helps me out. But for right now, I'm just going to say, Taurus, have a good week. And uh, do come back and check out your regular Twin Flame reading or your Love Outlook, various videos that I put up regularly. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye now.